What's happening everyone? Tonight, I'm gonna give you a tour of this whole mess back here. Welcome to the shop. Down, 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 down. Turn it up. Welcome back everyone. This is Cunningham Garage. I'm your host, Steve. And tonight, you're getting a private tour of my little shop here. I don't know if I'd call that little. <laughs> it's not, not really. <laughs> so, real quick, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, go ahead to the channel page and hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell notification next to it. That way you'll be caught up on every time we do something or I build anything or just anything in general. So I've had some comments about this and everybody wants to know about the garage. So this is it. So it's a mess, it's a mess over there. So I'm gonna explain a few things. So the first 10 feet, each post is 10 feet across. So my garage is actually, what is it, 40 feet deep. And the back side, the, well the first 10 feet is actually 36 feet wide because I added a room, which I'll show you, it's just a mess. So, but the rest is 24 feet wide and 40 feet deep. And if you're wondering, the gap along here, that is actually where the floor is, or it's going to be. I got dump trucks coming to uh, put some dirt in here, level it out, get this closed up, put some big garage doors on the front. I've got two big glass ones I'm putting up, close that back wall in. And that whole mess in there is going to be a tool room. So there's gonna be workbenches and toolboxes and stuff like that. So yeah, this is it. I've got a few pictures. So I'm gonna put the pictures running through of basically what this yard, but basically what the backyard looked like before the garage was here and everything adding up to this. So I'm gonna start putting those through now. And what you'll notice is, I'm gonna explain everything I've done. So I picked up these six by sixes here. That's what those are, they're six by six posts. They're 16 feet long. And then I picked up these, these right here, these steel trusses. I bought enough to do 50 feet but ended up not having enough room to use them all. So that's why I needed, I took one and broke it in half. Well, I didn't break it. They, they unbolt in the middle. So I unbolted it and used the two pieces to add a room on. Worked out perfect. So the six by six post, those were, wow, those were $700, $800. The trusses, were $1,200. All the purlings, which are the pieces of wood that go in between the trusses, I paid $600 for all of them for the whole garage. And then the metal, I would have to calculate that another day because I didn't buy it all at once. I bought, let me back up here so you get a better view. I bought it in sections. So I did like that whole section one week and then bought that one a week or so later. So I've been building this thing for quite a while. <laughs> but it's coming along pretty damn good. And if you're liking the lighting, go to my playlist and look up the Husky tour, the Husky light review and unboxing. These things are amazing. Look how bright it is in here. And you're gonna see a lot of videos of this project coming up pretty soon. But if you have any questions, just put in the comments what questions you have about the garage or if you got anything, any question for me, I'd love to hear from you guys. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button, let people know what we got going on here. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.